In this video, we're going to see how we can add a table of content into our single post template. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So the idea is to add the table of content into our single post template so we don't have to add it manually every time we add a new blog. And if we are an agency and we hand over our website to the client, uh, he will not have to add this element every time he does uh, a new blog. So let's go first into our dashboard and we're going to install a new plugin. And this name of the plugin is the table of content. Now, uh, table of contents. Now with Oxygen version 3.7, some new elements were released. And if you are in the agency and if the final version will be released or it's, if it's already released, depending on how, uh, when you're watching the video, maybe you will have this element to add it. If you have, you will see in the last part of the video how you can edit that. If you don't, just enable this plugin, the easy table of content, and it will work uh, with that also. So, so let's go into the settings of the plugin and into the settings. Uh, we're going to enable the support for the post. Uh, this is by default, so let's just enable the post. You don't have to auto-insert that because we're going to add it in the template. Here it has four, but I have selected three. So when it's three heading or more, it will show the table of content. It, if it's just only two headings, it will not show that. After that, you can uh, select something for the title and you have to go and select the to toggle view to be deselected here so the allow the user to toggle the visibility you have to deselect the here also I have uh, deselect the show as hierarchy because I don't like how it looks and after that you can see how uh, everything else uh, is default but you can change here the link colors you can change if you want the width inside here the title font you can change the headings that you want that to be included let's save that settings and let's go now into the uh, oxygen templates and here i'm going to add a new template and let's go add a new template and i'm going to select the uh, post single i'm going to select that to inherit the main template so it will grab the header and the footer and also inside the singular i'm going to select post and publish now let's go and see the post that we have right now so let's go into post let's go all posts let's delete that let's close that and let's go into the new post and let's view it how it looks now in the front end and we can see that we don't have anything for the template after that inside the template let's click edit with oxygen And this content is from uh, a website of Neil Patel and he has some great content for SEO. So here, once it's loaded, I'm going to add here a section. I'm going to save that just to see in the front end uh, if it's grabbing my template. And as you can see now, I cannot see anything, so it grabs the content from the single template. So let's go and add here in the section a background. So I'm going into advanced background and I'm going to select browse and I'm going to select, sorry, not browse. I'm going to select data and select the featured image. Let's size, select large, insert and save that. Here I'm going to select to be the post, the new post one. And now I have to go and select some size from for the section because the section only has some padding inside here. So I'm going for the height. I'm going to select 60 pixels. And also let's go into the background again. Let's select here to be cover. Let's select to be non repeat. And let's select 50 and 50 for the top for the percentage, percent and percent. Let's save that and see how it looks in the front end. Now, I have, as you can see here, it doesn't grab the height. So let's go and see why not. Background. Yeah, it's okay. Now here, primary. Here. 60%. Okay, save again. And let's refresh once again. 
okay, for some reason that didn't take the height. So uh, after that, you can see now that it looks okay. Now, if I had select to add the image instead of a background of the section, you uh, will see that this will not take the full uh, width of the page. So let's go and add here the image just to see how it looks. And uh, let's go into structure and I'm going to add it in a new section. So and after that, I'm going to grab the image and put it right here into the new section. Okay, it's not too easy, but eventually we will do it. Okay, and after that, select the image and select data and featured image size large insert okay go that into the middle and select into advanced for the section to have zero 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 and zero and after that into the width of the image select 100 percent and let's save that hit that save twice and let's go back and refresh the page now uh this will not go in full width if the image is not uh, uh, the full width that you have selected for the whole website. So here for the whole website, I have 1,200 1, pixels and the size of the image in width is less than that. So it will not go, as you can see, full width. If you want to, you have to select to be a background of a section. And this is how I use it most of the time. So I'm going to select uh, here and delete that section and I'm going to add another section here and in this section I'm going to add here the title so the title of the post can be added uh, with two different ways so you can add here uh, a heading and inside the heading you can triple click it select here insert data and then select title insert and click elsewhere elsewhere and so you will take here the title of the post and also you can also click add click into the wordpress click dynamic data and then select title and whatever you want to choose it's the same thing so you can see you can see here we have a heading and inside here we have a span and also here heading and span so they are both the same Let's select that to be in center and after that I'm going to select something for the content. Okay, and now I have to go into the title and I have to go and select into the advanced to have some padding. So let's go here and put some uh, margin, sorry, 40 pixel margin. Let's save that and see how it looks. And now you can see we have something like that. Now I'm going to select the new title also and give it a little bit of background. Let's go for something like that. And let's go for the typography and put it in white color. Let's go into the sizing and spacing and put something for the padding. Let's go for five up, five down, 40 or 50 here, 50 and 50 here. And let's go and give some uh, border radius of 10 10 something like that and also I'm going to remove that uh, size so that margin inside the section and also into the heading I'm going to give a negative margin so I'm going to put it on top of the image something like that and also I'm going into the layout and I'm going to give it a Z index of 1 so it will overlay the image Let's save that and see how it looks in the front end. Okay, it's looking good. And if you want, you can also go and add some metadata here, like the date that was published, like the author or something else. I'm not going to do any of that here. I'm going also to add the widget for the table of contents. So let's go for the widgets. Widgets and let's go for the table of content. And as you can see, it adds the table of content inside here. Now I'm going to also change some settings for that. I'm going to advanced, I'm going sizing and spacing and I'm going for the width 80%. I'm going to give some padding. Let's go for 10, let's go for 20. Yeah, but I don't want here 10. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to, know to delete the padding for the top and bottom. I'm just going to leave some padding left and right. 
After that, I'm going into the background and I'm going for the background color to be something a little bit different. And I think I'm going also to give some border radius of 10 because I also put that in the title. Let's go and see how it looks in the front end right now. Okay, and let's refresh again because it hasn't got the background. And as you can see now, it looks like that. So if I go to select and title, it will go straight down and will go into four. Ask experts for the guest post. Let's delete that from the URL and enter that. And as you can see, everything is looking fine. I just have to go and put some uh, margin underneath that. And let's go here, sizing and spacing and put some margin. Let's go for 40 again. Save that. And let's see how it looks in the front end. Refresh again. Okay, so now we are okay. And as you can see, it's working fine. If now my client or me want to go, or go and add another uh, post or edit the same, you will see now here that I don't have anything to add inside here except the content and the title. I don't need to add a table of content every time I edit a post or add a new one. And this is uh, something that I want to do for my clients because the less they do, the more happy they are. So let's also change that widget. I'm going to delete that. And for those that they have the agency in the 7th, the 3.7 uh, oxygen version, they can go inside here, search for the table of content. And it's going here also. And let's go also for the width. Let's go for 80%. And let's go also advanced background. I'm going to give it a little bit of color, something like that. Also, as you can see, the table of content has a different color, but we're going to change that. And I'm going also to change the border radius to 10 again. And now we can go inside the table of content, inside the table talk label container. This is the container. And if I go to advanced background, I will see that I have something like that. So I'm going to delete that. So it has something like that. And let's save that and see how it looks in the front end. So we have this layout. I'm going to also add uh, for the label of content, uh, the container, the label container. I'm going to add also uh, something like a border because I do want a border here. So let's go for the bottom and let's go for something like a black, but uh, not so. Uh, here I'm going to remove some opacity, okay? And let's refresh and see how it looks, okay? And as you can see, it's looking like that. So I don't know, I don't want to be now. This is not changing, and this is because of a bug with the widget and not the table of content itself. Uh, but if you want, you can go and select something a little bit more gray something like that. Let's save that and see how it looks in the front end. Refresh again. Okay, and I think I have some border elsewhere, but I'm going to see it later on. Now, uh, if you want also to change how uh, they looking right here, and if you want to change the width that we have here, we can go into the primary heading H2. This is the H2 default settings. And as you can see, you can change here whatever you want. But I want to change for the sub item H1. Let's go into advanced and we don't have anything here. But here we have some uh, margin. I don't want this to be anywhere. And also here I don't want this margin also. And for the H6, this margin also. Save and let's refresh. And uh, let's refresh twice and as you can see now the margin has left of course we have some margins from the h2 to h3 but then we don't have anything else and you can change whatever you want inside here like uh, adding some uh, border inside here and whatever you want to do so this is how you can add and edit your uh, table of content inside your single post template and you can make your life easier or your client's life easier. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.